Good morning, welcome to Slim Chat. Although there's not an awful lot of slimming going on around here. Two nights on the trot, we've been out for a meal. The first one, as I mentioned yesterday, we were kind of on the naughty side, but yesterday I wasn't. I just, um, in a way, I don't think yesterday was too bad a day for me. I had breakfast, I had a couple of little snacky things during the day, like um, I had one of those hi-fi bars and things like that. So I didn't really have a great deal. And then I went out and didn't have starter or a dessert. And I just had lamb with roasted vegetables and it had a mash. So obviously that wouldn't be cooked in the way that if I was making it at home, I could use fry light and all that sort of stuff and it would be fine. So it's obviously not cooked with all the right things. So yes, there's sins in it, but I don't think I did too bad really because it was kind of like roasted lamb rump with roasted vegetables and potato. So didn't do bad. Gary did though. He had a, I think he had a lemon meringue for, for his dessert, but and uh, I only drank, I bought um, a, cher a dark fruits strongbow, but I only drank half of it. Gave the rest to Gary and the rest of the time I just drank Diet Coke because I just couldn't, it didn't seem to be going down very well with me. You know, I didn't really want to drink it. So after that food, I was stuffed. I felt like I'd eaten massive amount when I just had a normal size plate of food. I felt like I was, you know, completely stuffed to the brim and I couldn't eat another thing. So I thought that might be a good thing. Um, so it stops me, in my, at least my, my belly now goes, you full up, stop it. Which is a good thing, I guess. And uh, I didn't overindulge. So, uh, but I didn't stick to Slimming World foods because obviously you're out, you don't know what that is. But, you know, I had parsnips, carrots, and other roasted veg that I probably can't identify at this precise moment. I have no idea what they were. They're just nice. It's all like, I think it was sweet potato, just kind of roasted root vegetables and that sort of thing. And um, the mashed potato was nice. It wasn't massive. I guess the gravy would have been fattening, but it was just a portion. So yeah, I think I did well in in truth, but you know, still um, went out. And it was quite a nicely set out, socially distanced pub. Service was quite slow. We were, we waited over an hour, but we were all talking, and then suddenly, th and I was hungry. I was really starving, and I was starving for hours before we went. So I was thinking, oh, where is it? And when we looked, we'd been well over an hour waiting for it, but it was well worth the wait when it came. We were all, all well, three of us were gonna order that, and, um, cause I saw it on the special board, and uh, when she came out, she said, oh, sorry, we've only got one. So thankfully, the guys let me have it, <laughs> and they had pie, because I, uh, I would have had steak otherwise, but I wouldn't have had pie. No, although it did look nice. <coughs> it's too much pastry for me. Anyway, so I've got no um, good story, just um, a flat story. You know, it's not like I was ultra good and had salad, but it's not like I was ultra bad and ate loads of desserts either. And we didn't have a starter, so that kind of, you know, wasn't too bad. But uh, it was nice still, nice to go out. And uh, today, got some errands to run got to go over um, over the mainland so I want to pop in and I might get another roll of wallpaper to finish off this because this brick wall here and then there's one there this wall's just going to be a wall of yarn basically so then this one here um, just one one roll would sort finish that off nicely and then we've also got to buy skirting board because this wall didn't have one it, there was a bed here, the whole length of the wall, and there was no skirting board. <coughs> so now, we do need that. <coughs> oh dear. So yeah, I can see it taking shape, this room. <coughs> I breathed in and choked on my own saliva. 
I'm very special that way. I can choke on water, you know. Doesn't take a lot. <coughs> Just can choke on anything. Crazy. Well, no, <coughs> not I any idea really what we're going to have for dinner today. <coughs> I think I've disappointed the girls. They wanted me to go to Creams with them. And um, we were talking about it yesterday and I said, well, you know, I've got birthday party coming up Saturday. We've been out for a meal. So it's like I've ruined the week. I could do. But waking up this morning thinking, do I really want to do that? Because <coughs> I feel like I'm going to undo all of the good dieting that I've done. You know, I had one meal that was a bit over the top, one that was normal. You know, I've got a, I've got a birthday party at the end of the week, which will obviously have some birthday cake in it. So do I really want to have a huge peanut butter cookie dough skillet with ice cream and salted caramel ice cream on top and fudge sauce? Of course I do, but the, on the other hand, you know, do I really want to undo all those days and days and days of sacrifice that I've made? And I don't think I do. So, you know, again, that's a, that's a, a, a non-scale victory, isn't it? This is not so much what I did eat, it's what I, what I won't eat. So that's good. So it's a good thing. I'm talking myself into this, guys. Talking myself <laughs> into being a good girl. Talking myself in. And also I had to have an isotonic drink yesterday because I've been feeling run down, been feeling snappy, been feeling tired and um, just wrung out because since spring <clears throat> there's been un relentless hot, sticky temperatures, massive, massive humidity. So since spring, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like I've sweated since spring and I kind of... I do drink water, I do drink all those things, but water doesn't really replace your electrolytes and it's the, the natural salts and nutrients that your body gets rid of when you sweat. And it, Margie, one of my subscribers, mentioned it to me that maybe I should get some Gatorade and try it. But obviously that's an American thing and I have seen it over here, I do see it from time to time, but I couldn't remember where and I thought Tesco's was probably the best bet to find it. I didn't have any. So I bought just an isotonic orange drink and had one last night. And uh, so that's sugary and probably a way more sins than I would normally drink. But I just feel like it's needed, you know, at the moment to replenish, you know, the things that I'm missing. More of a health, complete health and well-being thing rather than diet thing. And I dare say you can probably get diet isotonic drinks and kind of just had what to, to sort of get what they had and that was it basically the store was really low on anything to do with that sort of thing um, last night so uh, I'll have a look round maybe I sort of might be able to find something better you never know might even be able to find Gatorade and they might even do diet so we just have to check well, thanks for watching, and um, it's a kind of a bittersweet tale of whether I've stuck to being good girl and whether I, I've been, <clears throat> I think I've been what my headmaster, when I was at my first school, used to call a quiet naughty. He said, there are naughty people, there are quiet people, and then there are quiet naughties. So I think I've been a quiet naughty. So just on the fringe, on the cusp of naughty. I'm the Diet Coke of naughty. I think I ought to end it there, don't you? <laughs> that just reminds me of Dr. Evil. No, you're the Diet Coke of Evil. <laughs> Maybe that's what I am. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys, and go and get breakfast, and that will be a toasty. Although I have no idea what we're gonna put in the toasty because we <laughs> need to go shopping. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. Don't forget your masks when you go out. Take less risks. Bye for now and see you soon.